Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Zava and Austin Show. First thing I want to talk about today is I have a new short film coming out. It's called Absinthe. Uh, journey through the mind of madness. Uh, it's a, it's completely experimental. This is something that I've always wanted to do, and I just kind of it just kind of it happened. It just happened. Um, I started playing around with some effects in my editing software, and the next thing you know, I'm putting together this like three minute short, and I posted it and took it down because I didn't like it after watching it a couple times, and completely revamped it. And then I was going to turn it into a series where I would do, like, once a week these, like, abstract kind of uh, uh, experimental short films. And then I ended up doing another one and another one. And they all they all kind of came together. So I just decided to make one big 15-minute short film. And the name, it is, you know, it's, it is what it is. Uh, it's not for everybody. It's something that, uh, if you think of, like, an abstract painting on your TV screen in motion, I guess that's what it is. Anyway, it's going to be released in a couple weeks. I'm still tweaking it a little bit. It did get me to upgrade my editing software, and that came with a lot of new effects that I'll be able to use in other short films because I'm going to keep on doing this for a while. The other thing I wanted to uh, talk about today is the Game of Thrones. Uh, I know I did a video on it last week. It was I just kind of touched on it a little bit. But I, I'm reading a lot of uh, people saying, like a lot of comments on articles and on videos about the show. People are just saying the writers have lost it. Uh, the writers are they checked out early, or HBO doesn't want to pay for uh, extra CGI. Or uh, listen, here's the thing: HBO is cheap. They've always been cheap. Uh, I know because I've been in the business. Uh, I never worked for HBO, but I worked with a lot of people that did work for HBO, and they are, and they have the right to be because they charge a subscription. They don't. They don't make money off advertising in you know, in between the shows, like with commercials. So it makes sense that they would to put out quality shows, um, that they, they would have tighter budgets than, say, AMC, where AMC could put in four to five minutes of commercials, and you know what I'm talking about if you're a Walking Dead fan. They put like an hour and a half, and a half an hour of that is all commercials. It's like you're watching commercials just to get two or three minutes of a TV show. I mean, it's ridiculous. But here's my take on it. You have to trust the writers. You have to trust this show. The way I see it, I mean, Game of Thrones to me is, is one of the greatest shows on TV right now, and it's topping all the other shows in the soap opera drama kind of format. The Sopranos is where it all started. That's where that drama, that, that kind of soap opera format for a, a dramatic series that, that just kind of goes on and sucks you in. The whole marathon came from The Sopranos. And then you had Breaking Bad was another great one that everybody loved. And now we have Game of Thrones. I know there's a lot of other shows that are really good in between. But to me, those are the top three. I know that they're not going to just make up a bunch of jargon and just try to close a show real fast. The entire series has been building up to something. This is the reason why I think this is the greatest show. The character story arcs are just brilliant. The story itself is brilliant. And throughout every season, every little episode, there's all these little clues that build up to the finale we're going to see in a couple weeks. And I think a lot of people are going to be surprised that what you think are mistakes were actually part of the resolution of this show. For example, the scene last week with King's Landing, uh, people are, were noticing the background was different, the landscape changed. That's a very dramatic, that, that's a big, big mistake, if it was a mistake. I feel like that's part of the show. I feel like 
it's going to be answered in the next two episodes of why that happened. And also the Night King. A lot of people are saying like the story was never really there about the, the Night King and the Night Walkers. Like why were they why did they even exist? Because nothing was ever told about it. I, I just wait. I'm I'm pretty sure in the finale they're going to explain all of this. I mean, this is like a movie. Like think about when you're watching a movie, okay? You're in the beginning and you're like, what the what the fuck is this? You know, sometimes you just think, like, what, what the hell's going on here? You know, start asking yourself questions. Well, that's what the movie is. That's what a TV series in a movie is all about. You're supposed to ask questions in the beginning. Like, why are they doing this? Why are they doing that? What, what's the purpose of, of that scene? It's all foreshadowing. And at, at, at the end, in the resolution of the movie or the TV series, all that should be answered. I mean, that's the whole idea. You, it's all about questions for the entire beginning. The whole meat of it is all questions. And then the answers come in the end. And that's what makes you go, Oh, now I get it. So that's where I think Game of Thrones is going. And it could, I mean, you know, we could be wrong. Maybe I could be wrong. I mean, maybe it's just taking a big, big shit on all of us uh, but I don't think it's going to disappoint I think it's going to be something that people will be talking about for years like that, you know I really think it's going to be good um, that being said, I have no defense for the Starbucks coffee cup uh, that was an obvious mistake that should have been caught and I seriously do not understand how that did not get caught, I mean think about this First they shoot it, alright? When they're shooting it, you're, you're watching, you know, everyone's standing around. People may have caught that the cup was there, but the only person that, that would see it is the producer's director watching the monitor and the cameraman who was behind the camera at that scene. Now, they should have caught it at that point, but I could see that's something that could possibly be overlooked, or maybe they could think, well, maybe we'll just crop it later. You know, I won't say anything. But then it goes to editing. Okay? It goes to editing. The editors. I know from editing that you could watch a little, like, three, four second scene a hundred times before the day's over. Just making those tight cuts. Tightening that up. Maybe, you know, watching. Just. They're watching it. And then the producers come in. The director comes in. They all watch it. They watch it over and over again. They make notes on it. That tape gets sent out. There's more notes, and more notes go back to the producers. And then you have the online editing, the color correcting. That's a whole nother part that's super detailed where it should have been caught. And then you go through the audio, the scoring, the audio editing. They're watching it too. How did that cup end up on the, the TV screen on our TVs. I mean, how, I, how did they not remove it earlier? It, it, you know, there's a lot of uh, conspiracy talk about it, but now that HBO removed it, um, we know that it was an, obviously a mistake. So, we'll just leave it at that. So, all I'm saying here is have faith. Have faith. The show is going to end very well going to surprise us all. I think the next episode is going to be a big battle. And then in the final episode, the resolution, that's where we're going to have a lot of, there's going to be a lot of answers and a lot of questions from the audience that will be answered in that final episode. I can, I feel it. I have faith in the writers. Have faith in the writers. Have faith. They will, it, it's all Everything has a purpose in this show. It's never disappointed us before, so why would it start disappointing us now? I think that you, you really got to look at it in... in... Yes. Answers. You'll get your answers. And I'll see you next time.